Hi, welcome to ADHD Engineering. I'm Tim. I'm super excited to kick off this channel by making a very simple part for the Marble Machine X. Now, if you haven't heard of the Marble Machine X, you're my mom. And mom, go check out the links in the description below. It's an amazing project with a bunch of engineers across the world all helping this one obsessed YouTuber and brilliant musician create a mechanical masterpiece. So go check that out. Uh, this first part though is very simple. It's 493 uh, and it's the end of the line for the funnels and the marbles as they go through the instrument and get plopped back into the machine. I'm also working on the funnels, the parts that catch the marbles, uh, but we're going to cover those in a different video. Now I've intended to create this channel, ADHD Engineering, for quite some time. Uh, it's been a project that's been in the back of my brain, uh, but it's taken being part of this team where it seems like everybody has a YouTube channel from Machine Thinking, Alex CNC, and of course Martin with Winter Garden Wednesdays uh, to really convince me that yeah, this is something I can do. So to all you guys, thank you. You have literally inspired me. Now I could have made this part from solid bar stock, but since this is a tube, I would have first had to center drill, bore out, uh, and then get the internal diameter of this piece of metal into the final dimension. But what was simpler was to make an expanding arbor for the lathe, which then allowed me to use this stock. This is very thick wall, but it's already hollow, and the inner dimension was actually very close to what we needed for this part. So all I had to do was make these parts to length, program the CNC lathe to do both sides, and we were good to go. features on the sides, you got to hold a round part into a square vise inside the mill. And what would have seemed obvious was to use a couple of V-blocks. But you can see that the outer part of this part is not that big and so you don't have a lot of surface area to support that cylindrical face. So what I did instead was to make a couple of 3D printed soft jaws. I had this part in the computer in CAM and so just doing a subtractive uh, edit from a couple of solids to make a jaw that I could put into the mill vise, hold this very steady, uh, and then do my last operations was super easy. From there, it was just a little bit of hand polishing, some hand tapping, I even let my son get in on the action, uh, and we were all done. So that's it. Part number 491 for the Marble Machine is in the bag. Martin's already made his modifications to it and welded it onto the machine, uh, and it's been a blast just being affiliated with the project. Before we go, I want to tell you a little bit about where this channel is going to be going. Uh, yes, for the Marble Machine, I'm really just acting as a machinist, but this is not going to be a machining channel. Uh, this channel is going to be more about entrepreneurship. Uh, ADHD Engineering is an effort to support my nonprofit business incubator, which is called Inventopia. Uh, we're here in beautiful Northern California. We're affiliated with UC Davis, which is a powerhouse research university. Uh, and at Inventopia, we have dozens, literally, of entrepreneurs who are pursuing things from robotic mushroom harvesters to replacement heart valves. Uh, and all of us have some spare business ideas. Um, maybe they're not as big as the things that we're working on full time. Um, but things that we would like to pursue nonetheless. So ADHD engineering is going to be less about just the science and engineering of making stuff, but also about the process of creating an actual real world product. Um, and there'll be an opportunity for you to get involved too. If you have something that you think the world needs, but no one has actually produced it yet, um, maybe let us help you. So um, if that sounds interesting to you, please let us know in the comments uh, or subscribe. Um, if you think that it's going to be worth our time to uh, put together a channel talking about that stuff. 
Uh, and until then, thank you for watching. And, uh, oh, dude, I have a sweet idea. Let's make a rocket sled, right? Go out to the train tracks and just see if we can get up to like 300 miles.